subscribe to my youtube channel and click on this bell icon to get all the latest videos hello guys today i'm gonna show you how to solve any kinds of equation or any kinds of uh, format of equation you can solve it using a calculator which is the model you can see casio fx991 es plus which is the natural calculator which is really good for scientific calculator and for any kind of science student so today i'm going to demonstrate it on this particular calculator as you can see in the model so we know that there are basically four types of equation there which you can see in the first one we have the a and x plus b and y is equal to cn here a and b are both are constant as you can see we can have c and d okay a b c d all are constant but x y z those are variables always remember that and also remember that we have one and two variable that means we have to use two equation to solve this one is for 2x plus 3y is equal to 10 this is a normal dummy value this is not any exact equation i'm just using as an example we have 5x plus 4y plus is equals to 12 so we have these two equation these 2 3 and 10 and 12 4 5 those values are constant they are not variable only the x y those values are variable so we need to solve this kind of problem so this is only a linear problem which is uh, consist of only variable x and y okay so we have two variable and two uh, two equation if we had three variable as you can see x y z we could have three equation to solve this so first you need to click this mode option here as you can see in the five you have this equation button so i am clicking five and press equal so as you can see we have the same format that i have written in there so let's solve this first one so to solve this first one you need to just click uh, one as you can see we have only two variable x and y and the constant okay so it matches with this one so you need to click one so click one and press so after you click one we have this uh, kind of tray where we can put values you need to put the values of a which is the constant this is the two so we need to press two and click equal to go to the forward and put the value 3 10 3 and 10 equal and 5 4 12 serially 5 equal 4 equal 12 so we have uh, set all the values of the constant so now we need to find the value of x and y variable so you need to just uh, press equal again the value as you can see here x is equals to minus 4 over 7 so we need to write the answer x is equals to minus 4 over 7 now I need to find the value of y so for that click equal again so we have the value for y which is uh, 26 over 7 so right there so the first equation is solved to go back you need to press mood and select one as you can see in the comp press one and it is back to normal in the second equation we have x y z which is a three variable equation so we have three equation as you can see 2x plus 3y plus 5z equals 10 and all those so we need to put the value of uh, this 2 3 5 10 in the equation so let's check it out and i'm using the mode again and press 5 for equation and as you can see we have matched x y and z and the constant which matches with this kind of equation so you need to press 2 and equal and we have the tray now we can put the value which is um you can see 2 3 5 10 2 equal 3 equal 5 equal 10 then we have uh, 5 4 3 and 12 5 equal 4 equal 3 equal 12 and we have 7 9 2 14 7 
equal 9 equal to equal 14 press equal so you need to just press equal again as you can see the value of x is equals to 31 over 20 so I'm writing here 31 over 20 now it's time for y press equal again and as you can see the value of y is equals 1 over 20 and press equal again as you can see we have the value for z which is uh, 27 over 20 which is really easy so as you can see we have a ax square plus bx plus c which is a different kind of equation and as you can see the value of x is to the power okay so this is the uh, second power equation of x variable so we have only one variable here only x no y or z so this is really simple you just need to go to the calculator and put the value of this 2 5 4 and 0 and you will be good to go so this c is the constant here a is the constant b is the constant this is really simple but as we have the value of power 2 of a over x so this equation will have two value which is x1 and x2 okay those two value so you need to go to this mode again and click on this 5 as you can see ax square plus bx plus c which matches with this equation as you can see so we just need to click 3 to go there as you can see we have the tray just place the value which is 2 5 4 and 0 2 equal 5 equal 4 so we have put all the values which is 2 5 and 4 as you can see we have the value for x1 uh, minus 5 over 4 plus root over 7 over 4 i which is the imaginary number part and this minus 4 over minus 5 over 4 is a real number and this part is the imaginary number okay so this is the equation for complex number you can use it so let's write it minus 5 over 4 plus root over 7 over 4 i so the first equation is done for x1 value uh, you need to click equal again as you can see we have another value minus 5 over 4 minus root over 7 over 4 i so let's write it So we have the, the com complex equation solved here the value of x1 and x2 as we have two value v square value of this variable so if it had cube as you can see it would have three kinds of uh, equation solving uh, it would contain x3 suppose but it has only two so you need to just uh, find the value for x1 and x2 only which is the imaginary number part and the complex equation and this part is the uh, normal equation as you can see normal part so with the difference is it, uh, we have a plus in the middle of these two and the second root we have a minus so this is the only difference there but the values are same so the complex equation is solved using the calculator and also we have the final format which is ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d equals zero d is the constant c is the constant x is the variable to the power one okay this is the variable to the power 2 and this is cube or you can say 3 so in this equation we have three kinds of solution which you need to find x1 x2 x3 because we have only one kind of variable which is x there is no y or no z okay only the highest power of the x will be the our total solution here we have the highest power is the x cube okay so we ha will have total three solution or the three answer final answer for x1 x2 and x3 
similar to this one we have only two because we have the square value so we had two solution but here we will have three kinds of solution okay so let's find it out using the calculator the same thing uh, uh, go to the equation mode and you need to press 4 as you can see x cube plus bx square plus cx plus d which is matches with this kind of equation so you need to press 4 you need to uh, press the value of 5 2 1 because the value of c is 1 here 1 and plus 1 okay you need to press all the values first we need to press 5 2 then others press 5 equal 2 equal and the value of c is 1 as you can see because there is nothing here with the x it means the, the value of c is equals to 1 so press 1 and press equal and you need to press the value of d which is also 1 so I am pressing 1 and equal and press equal again to find the solution as you can see this is our value for x1 which is uh, minus 0 0.609 and something is a big number and press equal again we have another solution for x2 which is 0 0.1049 dot 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 is something and press equal again then we have our solution 0 0.10491 dot dot something this is the total equation first we have the equation for only x and y equation so we have the two equation here for x and for y because only two variable here we had three variables so we had used three kinds of variable and put all the values on the constant values in the calculator and find our solution for x y z and for uh, number 3 we have the complex number equation ax square plus bx plus c which will had two kinds of solution for x1 and x2 these two values the difference is only the plus and minus we just press all the 2 5 4 all those constant value to the calculator and find our answer and same as number 4 so these are all the equal kinds of equation you will find and you can solve in calculator uh, fx991 ux plus uh, so for reset you can go to the mode and complex press one okay so this is the reset and so that's it all it guys i hope you learned something and i try to show you every single equation uh, how to solve it a first order equation second order third order or any kinds of equation you want to solve in your calculator so i hope you like the videos and if you like it obviously it gives a thumbs up to my channel and obviously like it and subscribe to my channel and click on this bell icon to get all the latest videos so thanks for watching guys and peace out